Hi, this is Patrick again from JM Test Systems. It's been a couple of weeks since our last video, but we have a new product that we're excited to share with you. It's the Fluke II-900 Sonic Industrial Thermal Imager. This product is primarily used to detect and pinpoint air, compressed air, and vacuum system leaks. The imager is equipped with a visible light camera that captures a live view image of the inspection area. An array of tiny microphones provides what Fluke refers to as sound sight technology. The microphones superimpose an acoustical image over the real-time image. The II-900 can capture pictures and videos and it includes two rechargeable batteries. The batteries use a test button to demonstrate the charge left on the battery. The camera is also equipped with the newest industry standard of USB Type-C, which expedites file transfers. You may have noticed that there are only two buttons on the front of the camera. There is a power button and the image capture button. The rest of the controls are done through the 7-inch LCD touchscreen. When you receive your camera from JM Test Systems, you're probably very excited to operate it immediately. Let's run through a quick start guide so you can be up and running in no time. Don't forget to remove the sensor cover from the microphone area. Aim the camera at the area in question. Select a band on the frequency scale. This can be found on the right side of the screen. Remember that the optimum position on the scale depends on the environment and application that you are performing the testing. For air or gas focused testing, it is usually a good idea to start your spectrum at 35 kilohertz and a 5 kilohertz range. Once you see your picture in the viewfinder, press the capture button on the right hand side of the camera to save the image. If the camera detects an audible air leak and it is not in the frame, the camera will display a circular pattern or a flower. This is to let you know that there is an audible leak nearby but is not in the last frame of the viewfinder. Lastly, when you find an air leak, you may notice several other air leak spots showing around it. This is usually the air that is leaking being reflected by other source surfaces and not directly from the source. Be sure to hone in on the actual leak and it is always a good idea to check with the imager again after you repair the leak. It is very important to keep the microphone cover on the camera when it is not in use. If the microphones become too dirty to function, you will see an error message on the camera. You can use compressed air to clean the microphones, but remember to not spray it directly into the microphones and to always spray from at least one foot away. If you are interested in receiving more information or maybe renting or purchasing the Fluke II-900, please give JM Test Systems a call at 1-800-353 3411 and we will be more than happy to help you.